Now, sawdust like tan bark or mulch is a huge source of carbon for the soil microbes. So what can end up happening is it can actually tie up nutrients. When you put sawdust or a lot of carbon, uh, she brought the gold rush right here. Oh, um, I couldn't find the black forest. That's okay. The area. benefit to say a bagged amendment that you buy that's high quality, because you can buy cheap stuff. You're at the supermarket and it's like, oh my gosh, two bucks for a bag of soil. Well, there's a big difference. One is fully composted. One has beneficial nutrients to balance it. Whereas the other could likely be just sawdust. And what happens is when you put that on your soil and it's not fully composted or doesn't have the benefit of the other ingredients, all the microbes see all this food. This is back to that crazy can of soil that I was talking about. And the microbe population goes like this. It just shoots through the roof because all of a sudden they've got all this food. Well, as the microbe population shoots, they need other elements to live. And they can actually tie up, in the case of with these microbes, ni nitrogen. And so all of a sudden, available nitrogen to the plant drops. So you'll see a, a negative impact on your plant, or it may not do anything. And you're like, well, wait a second. So the key with sawdust, just like that manure and the bedding from your horses, fully compost it. Put it in a pile, give it some time to break down. It could become useful, but it'll take a little bit of a while. It'll take a little bit of a while. And the other thing you could do is use that compost starter or counteract the negative impact of all the tied up organisms by adding an organic source of nitrogen, realizing that nitrogen's gonna be tied up and it won't be as plant available. So that's why, that's what they're doing in this bag here. That's what they're doing with the gold rush. In the case of the gold rush, they're adding a little bit of chicken manure and they're adding some other beneficial ingredients to counteract any chance that the nitrogen could be tied up by a spike in the microbe population.